Hello everyone, Fashion Investigator here. Welcome to the 4th For Honor Fashion Show with your lovely host, me, Fujikio. Before we start, I just want to thank all the people who have submitted me their fashion. And for the judgment of your fashion, I'm going off my personal likes and details in fashion. Everyone has a different taste at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. If you want to be in the next For Honor Fashion Show, please send me your fashion on Discord. Only send me two or three pieces of your character's fashion, not the whole faction. Try not to get too butthurt if I say something negative about your character. As well, do not use the same armor pieces or else I'll be very upset with you. With that out of the way, let's start reviewing your fashion. Our first person we're looking at is the North Star Samurai. Just wondering if that is a reference to a song or a band. I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Besides that, we have a lovely blue, red, and gold Orochi. I do quite enjoy this look, especially the ornament uh, goes well with the colors. My only negative point, and I don't think it's really on you, it's the arms. They just don't really suit your character well. I would recommend maybe trying a different colored blue, so you could just make that permanently blue on those shoulder pieces to probably fix the problem. But it's not your fault. There's not really many good armor sets to make everything fully metal. So it kind of just sucks at the moment. Besides that, you've done a really good job. Now moving on to Zane. Please stop changing your profile picture and name. You, stop it. You keep getting me confused who you are. Alrighty, we've got two pieces of fashion that we're looking at. The first one is a flesh-colored warden. Or a brown warden. I don't know what you want to call it. Um... I think it looks alright. I don't know if I really particularly enjoy it. I, I think it's all kind of iffy for me. I think you could do a lot with Warden. And I think going with a brown look just doesn't really work overly too much for these type of characters. I think for Samurai and Vikings it does. But I wouldn't say for Knights. Because they have the goal of the material and the metal. So you should really focus more on that than the browns. Now moving on to Yomangunda, the Bowl Crusher. Um, this actually doesn't look too bad. It's a very simple Yomangunda, and I like that. He doesn't also look like a hobo. He still looks like a hipster. But, you know, not too bad. I'm not really a Viking guy, so this is alright for me. So, congratulations. Now moving on to Unknown Solitude. We're first going to be looking at their white, red... And black Aramusha. I think it's quite um, good. It's it's just a simple white Aramusha with hints of red in there. And I think you've done a really good job. I don't think there's too much to really give any suggestions on. The only thing I'd probably suggest is maybe changing the paint pattern to maybe more of a different one. Possibly something to do with circles to match the uh, red and white circles on the chest. But other than that, I wouldn't probably do too much besides maybe also adding a uh, symbol to the arms. And that's it really. Now moving on to your warlord. This is a really amazing job. I see what you've done. You've got the shield with the gold and the tint of blue-ish green, and you've matched the rest of the armor around it. And I think you've done an amazing job. Everything looks like it matches in place, but it it isn't using the same armor to my knowledge. And I think you've done an amazing job. The only thing I would probably recommend uh, that I would change is the ornament. Try and go for more of a gold ornament that might bring out the color as well. But other than that, you've done an amazing job with this Warlord. This is a really good design. Now taking a look at your Kensei, I definitely would have to say this is the weakest of your fashion. Um, my biggest negative towards it is that you have too much going on. So you got the got black, you got the gold, you have silver, and you have either pink, I think it's pink, going on. And they're all different colors you shouldn't mix. You should only do maybe at least three types of themes, not ever four. How I would fix this, it would, I would either choose one of them and stick with one of them. For example, if you just want to go for more of the silver look, then just go silver, gold, and whatever color, so either maybe like red for an example, or if you want to keep the chest plate, I recommend this one. Changing it and changing the color to a different uh, pink and getting rid of the silver vibe and sticking with the gold, black, and pink vibe instead. I hope this helped. Um, definitely the weakest of your fashion. Now moving on to Geist Flagon, Dragon, Kamen, 
Geist from Minecraft. I don't know. I keep screwing up your name. It's going to be a trend. Don't expect me to say it correct ever. We got two pieces of fashion. The first one I want to look at is the Red Dragon Orochi. Now, I think it's all right. Biggest negative with this, I'm going to have to say it's garbage, is because you're using the same armor. Come on, man. You should know better. Don't use the same armor. You're making me sad. Besides that, it's all right. I like the dragon ornament they've gone with. It's obviously a red dragon themed Kensei. I mean, Orochi. Whoops. Slip of the tongue. Uh, I like the ornament, uh, sorry, the symbol at the back of your Orochi it looks really good. Uh, the only negative is the... Can you shut up, dogs? I will eat you for breakfast. The only thing I'd recommend to fix this uh, red dragon Orochi would be to put a dragon symbol on the chest and as well to find different gold themed red arms. Other than that, this is perfectly fine. Now moving on to your next piece of fashion, your recreation of Ravenite, a good friend of mine who's a nerd. Besides that, um, it looks really good. The only negative I can see that is obviously not accurate to the Ravenite fan lore, whatever you want to call it, is you have the helmet red and gold, where his helmet is just more of a silver. So I'd just probably change it to silver and that's it. Um, or you could just keep it red. I don't really know. It's kind of difficult to recreate Raven Knight in uh, For Honor because his armor doesn't actually exist. So it's a bit difficult. But what you've got done and um, achieved is definitely reasonable enough to be a good attempt and an amazing attempt because Raven Knight made a video about making it. So I think he's happy with it. And that's all that really matters. Not me because it's not Fujikyo. So. Anyway, you've done a good job. I would only recommend that one change is to make the helmet uh, silver. I mean, metal, the default metal color, and that's it. Other than that, yeah, you've done a good job. Now moving on to Thede. What is with these names? They just keep getting worse every video. First fashion we're looking at is a demon-esque, swampish vibe of a Aramusha. I actually quite enjoy it for an Aramusha. I don't know if you're using the same armor. I'm pretty sure the helmet and the chest are a different variant. So I'll give you a pass on that one. I don't know about the arms though, so I'm definitely not going to give you a pass on that one. The only, I do really like it. Um, I would recommend maybe different arms. Other than that, yeah, you've done a really good job. I like the green and I like the brown. Yeah, good job. Now moving on to your Lawbringer. And I'm sorry, I don't know if I can really give an unbiased opinion on this one. I hate the Egyptian armor. I hate it. I, I don't like Egyptian themed shit. Sorry, it's just garbage. Like, that was the worst season for fashion ever. Besides the Joe Gumo event, but even that had better armor. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it looks fine. I'm just not a big fan of the, the forced colors and the forced patterns on it as well. I'm just not a big fan of it. It just looks too cartoonish for me. Just, just, uh, I don't like it. But from what you're, you're at least making it look a lot better than it actually is. So I'll give you that. Now moving on to your Warden, the Lich King, as you've told me. This doesn't look like the Lich King. This doesn't look like the Adventure Time Lich. Come on, man. He's green, not blue. Um, besides that, I know this is like from something called like World of Warcraft or whatever. I've never played it or cared for it. So um, from a recreation, it looks good. I don't have any complaints. It looks good. Um, I don't really overly see black and blue wardens so gotta hand you that very good attempt and yeah good job i still think the adventure time lich looks cooler but that's just my opinion now moving on to sir alone aren't we all alone i know i am now we're looking at his kensei design i can see where you're going with this one you're going with a more of a black and gold and red kensei the biggest problem that i'm seeing with this is just it's too simple like you have no symbols it's just kind of basic but not in a good way as well you're using the same arms so that's a big negative too you could always it would just be better for you to buy the red material and put it over any armor and then you got black and gold and red can say but here's a version that i've made that's a bit less than what you've done but it's a bit more of a i would say a fancier design of a kensei I don't think that you'll be able to recreate, but it is an interesting idea what you could maybe try to do with reds, blacks, and golds. The only other thing I would recommend 
to you would be to change the chest plate to maybe of a coat and then have the coat be red and then you can have a paint pattern that you really like and a symbol on the back of it and maybe have an embossing on the chest and maybe even a symbol down below as well and that would be a marginally better improvement than this one or at least if you still want to keep this somewhat design just get the red material and maybe just change the helmet and just make it a completely red themed kensei and obviously different arms don't use the same armor now moving on to samurai vez the first look we're looking at is a kensei and i believe it is mostly based off takeda shin again because of the takeda symbol on the chest Alrighty, I'm going to be completely honest with you, um, this look needs some serious help, in my opinion. Shameful display! A shameful display! You're on the right track to make a good Takeda Shingen. Uh, one of the biggest negatives is definitely you using the same armor. And I think some of your paint patterns and positioning for them are not correct. But that's not too bad, and I'm going to help you out with that. My first version to improve your Takeda Shingen look is more of a black, gold, and white design. To incorporate all the colors, especially white, I've also decided to add a tiger symbol to reference to him having a second name being Tiger of Kai. My second version is a similar to your first current version, it's just a bit more uh, variety and different places of different paint patterns to show off more of the Takeda feel, as well as using different arms and other things like that. Now moving on to your second Kensei design, I actually really like this, I have no negative words to say, except changing the material on the chest because I can see it's silver, just change it to gold or either torchlight, and I think that'd be a massive improvement. Other than that, I think you've done a really good job. Um, maybe the paint pattern on the chest doing something different instead putting a symbol on there, but I don't know the exact uh, color paint pattern that you've chosen, so I don't know if a symbol's viable on this look. But other than that, you've done a really good job, and I like this one the most. Now moving on to Damage Spill. We're first going to be looking at a Shaolin, I don't mind it, a nice black and red Shaolin, not really much to comment on. Now moving on to Gladiator, I do actually quite like the silver and white Gladiator, I think it's actually pretty good. And I think it works well with the character, I don't know if you're using any of the same armor, it doesn't seem like it. So, good job here. Now moving on to Orochi, the only negatives I would say is that there's no ornament and there's just no symbols on here. Other than that, it's totally fine for what it is. I think all the armor matches together with the golds and the especially yellows and the blacks, so I think this is pretty good. Just try and use an ornament and symbols. Other than that, good. Now moving on to Molo Polo, who seems to want to give me a brain aneurysm with his name. I think I'm going to have a stroke at the end of this video with these names. Moving on to the first piece of fashion, a bluish tanned Orochi. I don't mind this, biggest negative is you're using the same helmet and chest, just change one of them and I think you'll be fine, probably find a different helmet, and I think you'll be good, other than that, it's alright for what it is, you can't do too much with that chest because it's permanently like that, so just change the helmet. Now moving on to your second Orochi design, I see what you're going for, but I, I don't at the same time, I don't think your paint patterns really add much to your look here they're not really doing anything for me and they're just two weird ones one's a wave and one's just a triangle i think you should try and stick to paint patterns that work together and these don't the other thing as well i like all the armor composition but the color itself i don't think works with your main helmet because your helmet mask is white and there's no white anywhere to be seen on this armor it's black and gold so i would either recommend changing the helmet to a different black and gold helmet that will fit this design that isn't the same of any of this set or i would recommend changing the color to white at least and the only other negative thing is like probably find a different ornament definitely don't use event ornaments like that i don't think they look really great on new heroes especially old so other than that you've done all right and i think you're getting there with your looks especially this one i can see a lot of effort and you're putting a lot of thought into it just I would recommend make some small tweaks about maybe either changing the helmet or change the color to white to match the mask and either just don't do any paint patterns and just do symbols for this look or try and work out some different paint patterns. Now moving on to basically Sauron. I'm not saying that name. That's... I'm going to be in a hospital after this, okay? I'm going to be dead. 
Besides that, we are looking at your Kyoshin fashion, and uh, I really don't want to be rude because I see you on my videos almost all the time, but there's nothing going with this. There's nothing here to really me to comment on. You've just put a paint pattern on the chest and the back, and that's it. Like, everything else is fine with it, the armor matches and stuff like that, except, like, the arms, because there's a different permanent color on that that doesn't match anything here. I... I don't know what to really say because there's nothing I could really suggest to prove on because there's just nothing here for me to talk about. The best way I could try and help you to move forward with your fashion with Kyoshin at least it to, is to give you at least two of my fashion designs of Kyoshin that I like using a lot to maybe give you some inspiration on, on how you can move forward and what implements you could try and do to try and fix this. I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to be mean about this, but there's not much I can do. Now moving on to Lucky Last, Equable Tech. I'm guessing you have a tech YouTube channel? I don't know, such a strange name. First fashion we're going to be looking at is a warden, and I actually don't mind this. It's a green-esque warden. It reminds me a lot of the knight, Kingdom of Ashfeld type of knights. So I say it's pretty good. I don't have anything uh, negative to say except the arms, but that's not your problem. That's Ubisoft's because they permanently made one of the arms like a, a silverish metal permanently there, so you can't change it. So that's not your fault. Other than that, yeah, it's really good. I especially like the weapon design as well. Next, Warden design. This is the guy from the campaign who dies uh, faster than Fujikyo can even sneeze. I don't know what you want me to say, it's a good recreation, uh, I think this guy sucks in the campaign, and I don't know why people like him, so strange. Now moving on to your red, white Kensei, I actually don't mind this, uh, my only real big nitpick I would say is change the arms to something that's better with red on it, um, it's just the silver doesn't really match anything to do with the gold or the red material, so I would just switch the arms. Uh, other than that, I would also recommend changing the blade to maybe a red blade and the hilt uh, to match with the armor. And the other biggest suggestion I would change is not using the same armor and change either the helmet or the chest. I'd probably recommend finding a different helmet because the chest is always good to use, but you will figure that out eventually. Other than that, it's alright, but definitely don't use the same armor. And don't use armor that has nothing to do with the main theme of your armor. Other than that, yeah, you did alright. I hope you enjoyed my fashion video. If you'd like to be in the next fashion video, don't forget to send me your fashion on Discord. Don't forget, I don't want a whole faction, just a couple of your bits of your fashion. If I did forget your fashion in this video, please tell me that I'm an idiot and notify me, and I will rectify that in the next fashion video. With that, I'll see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps out the channel. Alrighty, bye.